Okay, we're going to start putting together our robot here. Uh, to do that, we're going to start with a channel. So I'm going to go to Channels, open it up. Now, if you've downloaded all your parts, all these parts we're going to be using should be there. Uh, if they aren't, you, you miss something. You might have to go back and reference the how to upload the part files um, that you're missing. And there is a video on that uh, for how to upload those missing part files. But we're going to start with a 12-inch channel. So I'm going to go to 12 channel and pull it over onto the screen. All right. It's easiest to do this here and now, which is this is a C channel or a U channel, whatever you want to call it. I want this open portion of it to face and open towards this back end. So I'm going to rotate it down here like so. And then grab this top one and rotate it back like so. 90 degrees. So this open C is open on this back portion here. So with that, I'm going to go OK. And this piece now, it moves freely. We want that first piece that we put in to be locked into place. So we're going to ground it. To ground it, I'm going to come up here where it says 12 channel. I'm going to right click on it and go to ground. So there, that one is grounded in place. We can continue our capture position. If I capture position, it takes it where I moved it to. If I just continue, it moves it back to the original. So either way, and there it is. Now that piece is locked into place. So that was our first part. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and put in a couple of brackets. So to do that, we're going to come over to our Actobotics main folder and go down to our brackets folder. Uh, the bracket we're going to pull in is a 90 degree angle bracket. So we're going to pull that over, place it in, and, you know, I honestly, I'm not going to move it around. We're going to do some rotating with our actual joint command. I'm just going to move it up here in kind of an open space near where I'm going to put it. So I'm going to place it right there. All right, so now I'm going to go up here to my joint command. Um, the way this bracket's going to lay in is this little 90 degree portion of it is going to go right here across this top portion, these top holes. First one's actually going to hit on this hole. Next one's going to actually hit here on this hole. And the flat portion is going to face towards the inside. If that doesn't actually make sense, if you're not visualizing it, just watch here for a second and you'll see what I mean. So we're going to go to joint. And start off by flipping this around, picking this circle right down here, not on this top corner where the 90 degree corner is, but down on the other end of it. And here you want to be a little bit careful. Zoom in on there on the ways. I don't want to get in here on that inside circle. I want to get on this top surface the center of that top surface right there. Click. Then zoom back out. Rotate around. And I'm going to line that up with this hole right up here. Again, this top surface of it. Click there. And it puts that bracket into place. Now, obviously, we don't want it sticking up there like that. So I'm going to grab this circle. I'm going to rotate this down 90 degrees to right there. And OK. That's in place just the way I want it. So there we go. Beautiful. Now next. Um... As I've talked about before, we don't want just one bracket holding these things together. We want two. So I'm going to add another one of these brackets in here. And I'm going to pull it in. Again, I'm just going to move it over here kind of into place. And do another joint there. This one is going to attach just the same way. It's going to attach this hole on this back side of it to right there. And again, rotate it down 90 degrees. Just to save some time on the video, I'm going to pause and do that. And good luck. All right. There's my two 90 degree brackets in there. Uh, that's just what I want. Now, I'm sorry, one of the groups yesterday or last time, I actually had you put in the wrong beam here. And now that I've had you upload the right beams, I'm going to go ahead and have you switch out that beam. We really haven't done too much else, so just get rid of that beam, which was a 12 inch one, and we're going to add in our 9 inch beam. So now we're going to go back to our um, channels, um, 9 inch, and pull in a 9 inch channel. All right, there's our 9-incher. We're going to pull it over. I'm going to rotate this a couple different directions. First, I'm going to rotate it down like so. Oh, get that on 90 degrees. Come on. Wow. You can always type this in if you're struggling like I am right now. Getting that to 90. My goodness. There it is. And then I want to flip this around the other way 180 degrees. So I'm going to flip it just exactly that way, right to there. And this is going to put into place right up here against my other piece, right about there. I don't want to put it exactly on there because it makes it a little bit more difficult. But it's going to see basically set right there. So I'm going to go OK. 
So now I've put that in place. I'm going to use my joint command again. Basically, you can pick any one of these four holes that you see in any one of those, either one of those brackets, and it's going to align with the holes on the back of this. Now, it is a little bit easier to pick one of these holes, either the top or bottom here, and align it with either this top hole or bottom hole here. If you don't, otherwise you've got to come all the way over here and figure out if it's this hole. I've worked with these enough, I know that. You're somewhat new, so you may not. So I'm going to come in here again, make sure I'm on that top surface, click there, that top hole. And I'm going to join it with this top hole. Notice it does this kind of weird thing there, move that over. However, when I go OK, it's going to put it back into place and it's going to be locked there. So there, that one's locked into place nicely, and you got a great looking joint there. OK, um, once again, we're going to do another joint. We're actually working on a little A-frame. It's going to be a very short-legged A, but that's all right. Uh, we're going to put another beam over here on this side and another bracket there to hold that in place. We are, however, going to put a different type of bracket. Um, this bracket, kind of crazy. I didn't make these folders. It's not saved in the brackets folder. It's actually saved in one that's called um, Pattern Mounts. So go down to the Pattern Mount folder. And you have three different Pattern Mounts that will actually work here. Um, the pattern mount, the first one here, the 54360, the side tapped pattern mount C, or the side tapped pattern mount D. The really difference is between there. Notice this first one. It's a solid piece, solid thickness all the way through. This next one, solid thickness there, but then it gets a little thin piece in the middle. And this next one, it's really thinned up and has a lot of things lightened from it. If you're really looking on making a light robot and you're overweight, whatever, you might use these. because That's going to be the lightest one. We're not, we're, we don't have any weight constraints on these um, FTC robots, so we want to make it strong. So we're going to use this side pattern mount D, because that's the strongest one. I'm going to pull it over and put it in there. Uh, I'm going to pull it down this way. Now, these holes that are here are the holes that are going to fasten at the top here and the other holes at the bottom. So right there is in a great orientation. I'm just going to go OK. I could have spin it, but I'm going to actually have you spin it here in this next step. All right, so we got this one. Um, again, we're going to use our joint command. I'm going to go joint. I'm going to come in here, go to the center point of that piece. Spin up and around, and I'm going to attach it right down here to this hole there. Notice how it went in there nicely. It is at the wrong angle, however, so I just wanted to get used to doing this. Remember, spin this 90 degrees, right like that, and go OK. And that thing should be right there in place perfect. Those holes line up there. And these holes line up down below. Okay. Now, the only thing you're going to notice here is, notice this little gap here. That's going to come to effect here in a little bit. But just kind of take note of that. And what we're going to do next is we're going to throw in our next 12-inch channel. So I'm going to go back to our Actobotics folder. Go to Channels. And scroll down and pull in another 12 channel. All right. My 12 channels in there. I'm going to just pull it over to place. I'm going to go ahead and spin this down and around uh, just to make it a little bit more easy to visualize. The open C is on this side, and it's just going to basically place right there just about like that. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to slide it off a little bit so it's a little bit easier to visualize so we can see what we're picking, and I'm going to go OK. All right. So now, looking at this, um, if we were going to put this channel all the way down and lined up on this end. This channel would be centered up right on this end hole. Okay? But we're not. We're moving it forward. So if we look and compare it to this one over here, notice this part of the channel goes right through the middle of this hole, and this one is really centered up on this channel, this hole. So that's the one, two, third hole up. We're going to do the same thing over here and center this up with this third hole. Now, the way this works is rotate this around. These holes, if you notice, these four holes, top, bottom, right, left, are threaded. So you put a little screw through those and bolt it straight into these holes, top, bottom, right, left, there. And these other holes are through holes. So the way we're going to make this work is this. We're going to go joint. We're going to pick this top surface of that piece there. I'm picking the hole over here on the right-hand side. I'm going to spin it around. Come here again to my 
third hole in, third big hole. This one on the right hand side. Actually, it's on the left here. Looking at it this direction. Click. It moved that over to there. We're going to go ahead and go OK. I'll put everything in place and let's see how we like it. All right, we went OK there. That's got it together correctly. The holes line up nicely. However, notice what it does here. It's, it's overlapped. Well, it's because of that little gap we saw there earlier. It's overlapped there. So we have to actually modify that joint a little bit. The amount that needs to be modified is the thickness of this beam here. So we're going to measure that. So let's go over to up to our inspect toolbar up at the top. Inspect. And let's measure from this side of this surface here to, whoa, to this surface over here. And let's see what that measures. Uh, I didn't get where. Oh, yeah, there you go. Distance. The distance is 0 0.09. So this thing is 0 0.09 thick. All right, so we're going to close that out. To modify that last joint we did, we're going to come down here on our timeline to our last joint, which is that one right there. We're going to double click that joint. Open it up. Um, this moved way over here. We're actually going to put, uh, we want right there, we want that to be 0 0.09. So we're going to add in 0 0.09 to there. So it's offset there, 0 0.09 inches. We're going to go OK. Slides everything back together and look at how nicely that fits. That fits right there like what we want. And that's a great looking joint. You can look here from the top. And you can see we're all on our way to our little um, A-frame. All right. Let's go ahead and look at our next one. On the top here, we want this one to go all the way across the top. And so we're going to need a different length bar because this bar fits in between. I don't know. Let's see what length bar we need. So we're going to inspect again. Inspect. We're going to measure from this line here over to this line over here. And let's see what we measure. 11.995 inches. To me, that sounds like basically a 12-inch channel. So we're going to put our 12-inch channel again. One more 12-inch channel. I'm going to pull that in. Put it right there like so. Move this into place. Um, our U shape is going to be pointing to the outside again. So first, I guess, I'm going to rotate it down this way. And then I'm going to spin it this way. All right. So there my U is facing out. I'm going to go ahead and just go OK. All right. So with this, uh, I was going to go into place basically right there. Uh, but we're going to use some different type of pattern brackets. Um, or, yeah, some different brackets. So we're going to go over to our Actobotics tab. We're going to go down to our Brackets tab. And this we're going to pull in one of the that first one, the 3 by 1.5 pattern plate. Pull it in. Just right there. That's a great place for it. I'm going to move it up and over to there. And I'm just going to go OK. All right. So we're going to put that plate into place. What we're going to do with that is we're going to put this circle part of the plate right down here onto this circle. So I'm going to go joint. Grab the center point of that. Ah, come on. Get me top surface. Top surface there. Circle. And attach it to this circle there. We obviously don't want it coming in like that, so I want to rotate this, right, like so, 90 degrees to right there. And that looks great. We're going to go OK. All right. So now, we're going to attach it onto this one. Again, we're going to use this large circle and attach it to that one. So I'm going to go Join, again. I'm going to go to the center of that circle. Flip this around to the bottom side here, and I'm going to go to the center of that one. Moves it right into place, and we're going to go OK. So there we go. We've got that plate into place. We're going to do one more plate here. This one's going to be the 90 degree angle bracket or angle pattern bracket. Pull that in. I'm going to move it over here a little bit. And again, we're just going to put that into place. To do that, we're going to go joint again. We're going to go to the center of that circle. I'm going to put it to the center of this circle. Now there, it put it in the wrong direction. So remember, we can always just go flip and flip that around. And now I actually need to rotate this up 90 degrees, right like so. Go OK. And notice how perfectly everything lines up. All right. So now, your, your job is, as I mentioned before, we want two brackets on each one of these corners. 
Notice there's only one bracket here, here, and here. Add another bracket of your choosing to those other corners.